Hello and welcome to another CSEC Physics tutorial. In this video we're going to be doing a worked example on kinetic and potential energy. So the question states a 2000 kilogram car is traveling at 15 meters per second on a flat road. If the car is allowed to cruise uphill, how far up the slope will it travel? We have this flat road with a car traveling on it, a simply drawn car, and we say that the speed of the car, or velocity of the car, V, is 15 meters per second. If at some point in time the car is allowed to cruise uphill, in other words, without any other additional help from the engine, just under its own momentum, the question asks how far uphill or in other words, what height difference, delta H, will the car be able to travel based on the kinetic energy that it has at this point right here. So the law of conservation of energy states that the energy in a reaction is not created or destroyed. In other words, energy doesn't appear out of nowhere or disappear anywhere, but is converted from one form into another before the st car started rolling uphill it would have had one form of energy which would be converted into another form after it started rolling uphill and so the energy that it had before it started rolling uphill which was kinetic energy EK will be equal to the energy once it reaches that highest point on the hill, which will be completely potential energy, EP. Now the formula for kinetic energy is half mv squared, and the formula for potential energy, or gravitational potential energy in this case, is mg times the height, or the change in height, delta h. Notice that we have m common to both of these equations, so we can cancel m, and we're left with half v squared is equal to g times delta h. We're solving for delta h, the height that the car will be able to travel uphill, and so we see that delta h is equal to half v squared divided by g, which in this case is half 15 meters per second squared divided by the value of g, which we usually use as 10 meters per second squared. It works out to 112.5 meters squared per second squared and we're dividing this by 10 meters per second squared. And so the two per second squareds will cancel from the numerator and denominator. We have m squared up top, which will be reduced to just m, and will cancel with this m from the denominator. And so we end up with a height difference that the car will be able to climb of 11.25 meters. So in other words, based on the kinetic energy that the car has at point A, it will be able to travel a distance of 11.25 meters uphill at point B. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, feel free to share it, let your friends know about it and the page, and leave us a comment in the comment section as well. Until the next video, thanks for watching.